Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's episode, we are gonna be showing you Patagonia. In this mini series, we are gonna be taking you through the epic Patagonia. Finally off to Patagonia, the place we're both most excited for on the entire South America trip. We are about to get on a flight to Puerto Madryn, which is where we will start. Then we go to Bariloche, El Calafat, El Chalten. Then we cross the border to Chile and go to Torres del Paine National Park. And we're going to do the W Trek. And then our Patagonia journey will finish in Ushuaia. So time for some colder climates, lots of hiking and yeah, getting out to nature. Bye! In this episode, we will be discovering the untamed wildlife of Puerto Madryn and Puerto Pyramides. First full day in Patagonia. Yesterday we arrived, we had some gorgeous dinner on the seafront. We even saw some penguins and some flamingos flying. Hopefully we'll see much more of that whilst we're here. And then we just sorted some stuff out, created a plan for our time here. And yeah, today is our first full day. So today we are gonna go and get a car and we are gonna go on a little road trip to hopefully go and see some penguins. Let's go see. to Puerta Tombo, which is where there is the second largest colony of penguins in the world. It took us about an hour and a half to drive here from where we're staying in Puerto Madryn. It took two and a half hours. Sorry, two and a half hours, that's what I meant. It was an hour and a half. That's what I meant in my head. Yeah, and now we're just coming into the first viewpoint for our tickets. We'll let you know how much they are. 2,400. 2,400. Bad person. Lewis loves to interrupt. And <laughs> then <laughs> we're gonna drive down to the beach. and there are like thousands of penguins. Like, yeah, I don't even know how many penguins are here, but yeah, it's incredible. You get so close, they like cross the path. You might be able to hear this weird noise that they all seem to be making. We don't know why they're making that. Yeah, and it's just stunning here, really. hire a car for the next day or just today mainly and maybe onward if it goes well so now we're gonna head around approximately maybe like an hour's drive up north to try and see the sea elephants seal elephants sea elephants one of those so we've just made it down to Isla Escondida we're 99.9% .9 sure we're in the right place and there are no elephant seals which is really weird because everyone was talking as if they're guaranteed to be here all year round so yeah we're really not sure so Liv has just wandered over to a couple of couple of people fishing to ask if they have any clue where they might be but I'm pretty certain they're not here so yeah looks like we're gonna have to turn around and go back <music> So we just came down to another part of the beach so we could try and fly our drone and we've stumbled upon some seals. Super cute, there's literally only two here. No elephant seals or sea lions or whatever they are but the seals are really cute. back to 
our hotel and now we're gonna go and get some dinner. Today has been so good. One of those days where you just feel so happy. Well, at least I do anyway. Yeah, it's been, it worked out really, really well. We actually ended up spending around the same amount as we would have done if we went on a tour. And the tours that go down to the penguins are 40, approximately 40 pounds. So maybe $50 per person. So we got to do it on our own time as well. And we got to come back and see the sea lions and all of that stuff. So yeah, worked out well. Now we're gonna go grab some dinner. Finishing up a perfect day with dinner at a restaurant called Malon. Great service, great food, great vibes. Would recommend. We'll see you tomorrow. Morning, everybody. So day two in Porto Madryn. We're still staying at Hotel Piren. We have already got up. We got our car back to its rental place and we'll be getting it again in a few days time. And we have sorted our bus to our next location. And now we're gonna go and do something seriously exciting. We are about to go on a boat trip to try and spot some dolphins. Wish us luck. So we've just got on our boat for our dolphin watching tour. It's a lovely day. It's a great day for it. Hopefully we'll see some. This is not the high season right now. So there is a case that we won't, but hopefully we will. We paid 15,000 pesos per person for this tour, which is around 35 pounds. $45 and yeah let's see what we can see and the high season is December to February yeah apparently for anyone wanting to come here and you would probably see whales in that time as well yeah so December to February you'll see, there's like 400 dolphins apparently and you'll see I think there's sperm whales but you won't see the orcas we're here in March in hope to see orcas so yeah so there's always animals here but you've just got to check them up to see what you want to see next time. Yeah, but we won't see walkers on this trip. That'll be when we move locations, which we'll tell you about later in this video. I slowly have forgotten to Remember about your babe if this is what all lovers do I'll find another way The way I fell in love with you Is far from me today I'd love to fall right back into So we thoroughly enjoyed our excursion earlier We did see a couple of dolphins but they were being very antisocial and didn't come that close to us but we did get a really really good view at a I guess colony of sea lions who was super cute I hope you like the footage and we also saw a shipwreck so really cool really worth doing absolutely loved the afternoon we then came back to our hotel did some shooting because we're working here and we've just gone to book on something that we're doing tomorrow which is even more exciting than just watching sea lions. Let's see if you can guess. We're now heading out for some dinner and we'll let you know where we end up. So we are back at the restaurant we first came to when we got to Porto Madrid, Bistro de Mar Nautico. We loved it so much and yeah, banging salad, so here we are. And it's really busy, so it must be good. Oh, God, that's Hello. Dinner is served. Morning everyone. So this morning was pretty special. We we're up super early, check out this sunrise. And then we went to dive with sea lions. How was it? Epic, unreal, absolutely amazing, yeah. And then we did a second dive at Shipwreck. Which was okay. <laughs> This was like two meters, so we went down on our own without an instructor and got completely lost and had to come back up. And then we went down with the instructor and it was great, like, but yeah, you couldn't really see much. And it was freezing, like, I'm still cold.
we're back at the hotel. We're checking out from Hotel Piran today and we're checking into a new hotel over on the peninsula. So stay tuned for that. Just arrived in Porto Piramides. We are staying at Hostel del Nomad or Nomade, as they say here. We're just going to take a stroll around the town. It's a really, really small place. So there's like a few restaurants. There is a petrol station. We're just going to have a mooch and see what's about. And then we're hoping later to go see some flamingos. So you may be wondering why we didn't just stay in Porto Madryn the whole time. And the reason for that is the whole area is huge. On a map it looks quite small and it looks like the beach with the penguins might be really close but everything is like two or three hours apart and the peninsula Valdez is the national park and Porto Piramides sits on that peninsula so we stayed in Porto Madryn to go south and do the penguins and to dive with the sea lions and now being on Porto Piramides just gives us it just makes us closer to the peninsula and we can go to all the different beaches here and the main hope is that we can see orcas because March is orca season so fingers crossed we get to see them. grabbed a little cinnamon roll from El Origin and a coffee and we're now heading down to the beach to see what it is all about. So we are staying in a place that I imagine no one has ever heard of which is called Porto Piramides and the hotel we're staying at is called Hostoria del Nomade. Really nice little town and we're going to give you a quick tour of the hotel. This is where we're going to be having breakfast in the morning and follow you to the room. Cozy little home, so we've got a nice double bed, a little desk. I live can do some work once I lay on the bed. And through here, nice homely little we even have our own little courtyard. Come down to Isla Isla de la Page Pajeros. <laughs> Have I said that right? Pejaros. Anyway, it's like a little island on Porto Piramides and it's where you can hopefully see the flamingos and we can see them. We're here at around sunset time. It's absolutely beautiful. The tide is out, which is when you are most likely to see them. There's loads of them. They're just really far away. Maybe like 500 meters longer? 500 meters away. So Lewis is getting some all right shots on the camera. We'll show you these now. But to the naked eye, they're not super close. But yeah, well worth coming to have a little look. So far the food is incredible, I mean, look at that for about a crawl. So yeah, let's tuck in. Can you just tell us about what we've just witnessed? So I am very well known saying things are the best things I've ever had quite regularly. They are the best bad prawns I've ever had by a mile. Out of ten? Like a hundred out of ten. Wow, that's a lot. Juiciest prawns, they're massive. Yeah, they're great, unbelievable. On the hunt for orcas it is incredibly windy, so very runny nose. We have started at Caleta Valdez. High tide is coming in now, and there are no sign of orcas here, so we just popped here basically to see if they were here. But now we're going to go up to Punta Norte, where we think they might be a little bit more likely. Uh, it's going to be an hour to get there from here, and that should be perfectly timed with the high tide, so fingers crossed. So, a little bit of info. They hunt the sea lions here at high tide. So everywhere you stay, there's like maps and stuff of like when the tides are coming in. And the orcas start hunting three hours before 
high tide so the most likely place on Peninsula Valdez to see them is Punta Norte and high tide is at one o'clock today so we need to try and get there a couple of hours before and they basically have a six hour hunting period so three hours prior to high tide three hours after so fingers crossed we're gonna see some so when you drive to Paleta Valdez there are three stops which we're gonna look at kilometer so the first one is the Penguin Maria which is where we are now the second one you can stop and potentially see the sea lions and the walkers and then the final one is where you see the elephant seals where the ranger hut is and you have the chance to see what's there uh, here in the penguins city of mine how i love how i love the city of mine it never gets me down so we have just arrived at punta norte quite a lot of people here obviously it's orca season people love to try and spot one the last sighting was on tuesday there were seven orcas and it was at 12 53 so in about an hour's time so what do we think do we think they're going to be out again today's friday so it's three days ago there were seven of them that's quite a few Let's see, let's see if we can be lucky. So we are at Punta Norte, we've been here for about two hours. No sign of Orca yet, unfortunately. So we're gonna go get some lunch, maybe come back down. Apparently a telltale sign, if there's loads of seaweed, it's unlikely you're gonna see Orcas. There's loads of seaweed today, so we're gonna come back tomorrow and try again. Used to beg my homies for a ride across the bridge. Alright guys, so we're back at Punta Norte for day two of hoping to spot the orcas. We're here with the gang who you're gonna be seeing a lot over the next month. We've got Hannah next to me here, give us a wave. And then we'll introduce them properly later. We've got Daniel over there and Lewis is getting the spot with his camera. So yeah, fingers crossed we see one today. It never gets me down City of mine How I love How I love this city of mine It never gets me down Look, uh, I never really had a place to call my own So I travel and I roam till I find that But I'm full of adventure So I wander and I venture And it's safe to say that So over there is where we've been standing For the last two, three hours where a lot of people have stood but basically there's a huge walkway at this place as you can see loads of people are sat down here and essentially you just sit or stand or perch up wherever you can see the sea lions there's some there and there's some on the corner over there so that's what we're doing we are going in to grab a hot drink and potentially head off if there is no more signs of orcas which is a bit of a shame but it is what it is it's nature there's the crew up ahead of me my crew my crew how are we feeling gutted gutted no orcas ah oh, it's not a great day saw some sea lions <laughs> daniel <laughs> always <laughs> the highlight of positivity we love to see it yeah and you know like it would have been slack for the orca to come and eat one of them <laughs> So maybe it's good that we didn't see it. You know? Yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah. great day. They're pretty cute. <laughs> great day. Hannah, how are you feeling? Oh, great. <laughs> Freezing to death. <laughs> good. Mixed reviews from the team. Well, at least we've got a 15 hour bus to now look forward to. Yeah. Yeah, we can reflect on the day. <laughs> a dead penguin, we saw that too. Don't bring up the dead penguin. Um, at least like, it's nice, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Beautiful views. Yeah, next time. Yeah, we're just discussing how we're going to come back here in March every year <laughs> until we see the orchid. <laughs> until then, it's David out of love. <laughs> David out of love. Thanks so much for watching episode one on Porto Madryn and Porto Piramides. We are now on a 15 hour bus to Bariloche and this is what you can expect to see in the next episode. If you like what we do here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, share with your friends, share with your family and we will see you in episode two. Fucking can't focus. To Bariloche tomorrow. No, sorry. We're...